I just like to take a quick second to introduce to you guys um, about the Tech New Traders Club. I'm going to share my screen with you guys, right? And um, over here. All right. So if you go to techmeal.com, right? If you go to techmeal.com, right? Um, you go to under client tools, right? There's this thing called the Tick Meal Traders Club. I'm going to copy the link uh, and send it to you guys. All right. Um, where's my chat area? I'm going to copy the link and send it to you guys over here. This is the Tick Meal Traders Club, right? You can read up about it, right? But um, what you notice is that with a Tick Meal account, you get access to uh, me, you get access to Peggy, you get access to um, all of us, right? Uh, to teach you guys how to trade better, right? And of course, the place that you can go to, right? You just need to sign up for an account over here. As long as you have a TickMe account, right? You should be able, um, you should be able to get access to this. All right. I think people in the UK might not have access to it, but anywhere else, uh, you should be able to have access to the TickMe Traders Club, right? This is how it looks like in the TickMe Traders Club, and it's one thing which I, I think, you know, ending the year and maybe like um your twenty twenty four, uh, resolution, right? Um, becoming a better trader. This is the best place for you to um to be. One of the main reasons for that, right, is because in the Tick Mill Traders Club, what you notice is that we have a whole bunch. Um, if you use Discord before, it is very similar to that, right? Um, you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of um instruments by the side. And let's say you have a question, right? Let's say you have a question on on like Euro Dollar. All right, so we come to Euro Dollar, right? I'm gonna show you how you can use this um really easily, right? So Euro Dollar maybe on the one day time frame. Right, and you're wondering, all right, so um, do you think price might um reverse from here? Okay, you can come in here and maybe just draw a Fibonacci retracement and say, um, hey, hey Desmond, or hey Peggy, um, hey Desmond, uh, do you think this is a strong resistance level? Now, how does this work? You can highlight this strong resistance level. You click this little button called link object to text. Right, and you can just link any object that you just drew, like this line here, this particular Fibonacci, and you click confirm. So what happens is that once you send this message through, right, and um, and if I'm reading it for the first time or anyone else is reading it, all they need to do is to hover their mouse over it, and you can see it lights up on the chart directly. Right, we know this is the exact level that you're referring to. Right, of course, you want you can leave a little thumbs up. Right, you can view the discussion and have a dedicated discussion just on this trading idea. Right, um, the benefit of this is you can clarify the questions that you have, especially with technical analysis. Are you drawing a trend line correctly? Are you drawing a Fibonacci retracement correctly? Are you drawing uh, so many different things that you can uh, you can learn um, in this portal? All right. So if you have a trading idea that you want to run by us, right? You know, are we bullish or bearish? This is the best place that you can go to. So as long as you have a uh, tick meal, um, tick meal life account, you will get access to this, right? So be sure to to visit tickmeal.com, right? Go to the traders club. There's me and a whole bunch of other traders that uh, you can see in here, right? And depending on how much you put in to a deposit amount, you get, um, you know, get you get different levels of access. All right. So do go and check it out. Right. And now guys, um, just let me see. All right. Um, okay. I will now pass the time on to Peggy. Um, she will share with you about the give me a second from current slide. Yeah, she will share with you about the gold trading strategy that she has used over the years and that she has uh, she has specialized in. So one of the things is that she um she's one of uh, the better traders that we have, right? Uh, I think she passed multiple uh platform trading tests, eight nine or 10 different times already, right? And she specializes in gold trading in particular, right? So not only the strategy, but the nuances, the behavior of how gold tends to behave. Um, she'll be sharing with you about it, right? And she'll be showing you the live charts in today's um, session. So yep, do enjoy today's session. Remember, disclaimer, everything in this webinar is educational in nature, the strategy, you know, everything else, right? So do do your own due diligence before you guys trade okay and so yeah without further ado i'll pass the time on to peggy now and she will she will share with you how she navigates and trades the gold market hi guys how you guys doing so far let's just um look at the charts for today okay um you have any question okay 
you can just ask me any question you want to know about goal. Okay, I will share with you guys like I use this strategy to pass all my um challenge even phase one, phase two, and get funded. Okay. Um what is this? Okay, so basically there is um the trick for you to see. For example, I will use um two EMA, okay. That will be um EMA. Um one is two hundred EMA, okay. I will just put this um like blue color. Um any color is up to you, but I, in this case I will put blue and another one EMA is EMA one hundred, which is okay, I will put um green, but I think I will put slightly different okay for 200 email i will put i will choose pink okay so basically if you trade gold for example what you can see here in the i'll just put watermark okay and then you know which time frame i'm talking about for all here the firstly usually i will go to the higher time frame for which is daily just to look for the direction. So I know that today I'm going to buy a sale. Okay, because I know that price is mega high, uh, uh, lower high. And like last Friday, we know that price is come from the resistance level. Okay, about 1993, right? And then you can see like big rejection over here. So today I will look for the buy entry, uh, sorry, for the sale entry. And then, I would like teach you how to use the EMA. For example, over here, usually, okay, over here, as we already know that EMA 100 and 200 is act as support and resistance. In this case, what you can see over here in last week, which is Thursday, okay, price is already really break above. Okay, you wait for price to pull back and then use, oh, okay, use like, you sell here. Because, you know, in gold, um, usually they respect EMA 100 and 200. And if you want to know, let's say if you want to like scalp gold, you go to M5. What you can see over here in M5, if you like want to scalp gold, let's say over here, you know that price is on uptrend. Okay, you're on uptrend. Here, they go up, they cannot go down. This is EMA 100, right? Once, okay, usually one price is break below EMA 100 and 200, right? This is the area for you to sell gold. This is the one. So basically, you wait for price to pull back at EMA 100 or 200, and then you sell. Okay. You get what I mean? You can go back or tomorrow onward, you can just go down to M5 and then you can see that E price, usually the first time, um, based on my um, um, like trading, okay, usually 95% E price break, uh, break below the EMA 100 and 200 in gold. Usually I will wait for price to pull back and sell. The accurate is about 95%, okay, based on what I have been trading here, and then you sell, okay? And you can use EMA 100 and 200 to identify that in the lower time frame, which is here. If price class, uh, cut across the like um, the candle, it's meaning that price on sideways or right ranging, okay, here, over here, and it, price is on up like on downtrend usually usually in the lower time frame for example like daily what we can look at daily that we will look for sale today right today even though in a head four you want to look at the like the candle okay price is still on the this is very nice rejection here and again if you guys trade go 
one thing you need to take note is which is over here we call this is we call um hidden base. Okay, this is called hidden base here. What you can see here is why price come to this zone. Yeah, and then sell. What you can see here. Okay, I try to in this zone right here. And then you sell. You get what I mean? This is called hidden base here. Okay, and if you just want to draw support and resistance, and you know that this is your resistance level, like here, this is a resistance level, and price still on downtrend because today we are look for opportunity to find the sell entry, and then you can go to the lower time frame, which is H one. What you can see over here is H one. Again, guy, if you want to scarf, right? Usually. This is the keyword you maybe you can take note. Let's say if price is come down to um EMA 100 or 200 in H1, H4, or even like higher time frame, which is day or um weekly. Okay, you can just create a sale um entry over here or here. Okay. Let's say if there is no major news, usually from this side, from over here, price will bounce off from here. Either here or go up, or we here will go up. But usually we will bounce from here at least 50 pip. Okay, from like EMA, this is, this is EMA 100 in green and EMA 200 over here. And on my left, what I can see here, there is a... Um, Demand zone, okay, we call demand zone here, which is this one. You can mark and then you can um demand zone here. This is called demand zone, right? And then it's have what? This one, EMA 100. And then if you want to use Fibonacci, you can just draw from here to here. And then I think around this one should be 60. Um, There is no Fibonacci in this case. I don't use it, but I know that that will be. I, in this case, I may just put like fifty percent here, and then you know that okay, in fifty percent here, we do have somewhere. This is a resistance level, okay, here, right, which is here in uh H one, and if the price come down here, oh, here to here or around this one, I will buy from here again if you buy usually 30 to 50 pip okay you can um your yeah, scalp go in this case okay then now over here and another thing if you want to know that if price is still on downtrend or not usually in the low or in the lower time frame which is like um h1 if price is still on downtrend they will price will be below EMA 100 and 200 here unless if they are changing in momentum, which is bullish, price have to go above EMA and EMA 100 and 200. And then in this case, you need to wait for price to pull back and then you buy. But if just so if you want to see the momentum, meaning that like today you will buy at sale because EMA in the lower time frame is still on. I mean, like below EMA 100 and 200 in M5. Any question so far, guy? You have any question? Um, the section won't won't be record, won't be recorded. I think, yeah. Okay, you get what I mean. You can try. Because um usually last time when I don't work, you know, I trade full time, I scalp go in M5, even in H1, but usually my entry in even M5, M1. I don't want to go through until M1 because you might get confused. It's just that if you just trade based on uh, either H1 or uh, M5, you will already can make the money. And then if you want to ask me where is my risk, 
risk rewards, right? Like we already know that gold is very volatile and usually um, the risk and reward is may not great, but we in and out very really often because I've scalped gold. Okay, usually my uh, pip is at least 250 to 500 pip. Uh, five, uh, 50 pip, sorry, 50 pip for gold. Okay, in this case, what you can see just now, but this one you need to practice, okay? And still pull back here and then sell here from here. So from here, 1980, which is 1980 in a lower time, in a higher time frame, which is a resistance level, right? And it came down to here, it's already almost 30 pip. Already almost 30 pip here. From here to here, 1980.5 to 1977.8 is almost 30 pip. It's already good enough. And then you exit and then you wait again. Okay. Always you trade go. Try to look for demand and supply as well. You can use EMA 100 and 200 to trade. I will show you the example. Let's say we are in H. We are in H. Um, H4 here. Over here, let's say price is already break below. Okay, you wait for price to pull back and then you sell here. And then you know that in the higher time frame, which is uh, uh, head four, if price is below EMA 100 and 200, usually price is on um, downtrend, okay? But once it break above these two EMA, and you can see when it's crossing here as well, okay, you know that it's on uptrend, okay? Let me show you this, for example, if I find entry, let's say, here okay let's say here you know we know that price is some is at um like resistance level somewhere around here okay and in h1 what we can see is still bad uh, is still bearish right okay in this case you can go to um, M5 to get the entry. Okay, for example here, what you can see here, you know that price is on resistant, resistant level, which is here. And then price is already, you know, going to break the um, EMA 100 and 200. So actually our strategy is that price break, we wait for pullback and then we're gonna sell, right? Yeah, meaning that you know that price is on resistant level, in H4 is uh, maybe it's going to end with the red candle. And in H1, it has a red candle, all the way red candle, right? You go to M5 to wait for price to pull back. Let's see. Okay. Okay, now it's already pulled back here, right? And then you we will press the entry around here so this one is suitable for you guys who you know have time to scalp at least i will put a few lots side here okay let's say if i want to trade like five lot for example i don't i don't press five lot here either i put one lot one lot one lot or 0 0.5 or 0 0.25 it depends because my strategy sometimes price is might you know go above this a little bit so you need to have like spare lot to, you know, layer. Okay. And then now we already place here, right? And what you can see here. Uh, what you can see, go up until here. You see, in this case, what is going to happen? Okay, I stop here. We enter here, but what you can see, the price is from like around... 1992 it go up until 1995 let's say about 30 pips meaning that then you know that this is your resistance level in like m5 here okay so you might have the spare like lot to like place here either like you place here you wait first and then we can see what 
Oh, you can see that. The M A is try is going to like you know curving down here, so meaning that price is on downtrend. Okay, so, uh, if you don't, if you are not practice this strategy, if you think that price is reward here, you might got panic out and then you might cut lot or might hit your stop loss. But you need to look on your left that this is your resistance in M five, and on the higher time frame, which is uh H one. Price is on resistance level. Okay, you need to hold. Okay, you can see here, for example, our uh, first entry around 1990, for example, and then price we layer here again, which is 1995. So when the price came down, let's just say at this level, 1987 is already how many pip? Almost 100 pip, right? From 1995 to 19. 87 at least for 1990 it's already 30 pip here and then from there it's about 80 80 pip okay you get what i mean ah uh, any question so far i i try to explain for you guys anyone you get the idea okay let me look at m15 okay what you can see in M15 is here. Okay. If you were to look, just now we were like, you know, sell from here, right? Here. Just now we were sell here and then price is go up almost hits a resistance level. And then after that, it's break below. And from here, on the lower time frame, which is like uh, M15, you know that is a resistance level. Uh, sorry, it's a support in the H1, yeah, sorry, in the M15. That's why when price came down and then leveled up from here, okay? Any question? But in this case, I'll still hold, okay? Either, either if like price came down until here, I might close my like, you know, lower, like the first entry, which is like 1990, around here, I close and then I will hold like the highest one, okay? Indicator, I'm using only EMA. Blue, a uh, pink one is EMA 200. Okay. Only use this. And another one is EMA 100. That's all. But again, you trade with um, this one. You need to, if you go to the higher time frame, you can trade go with demand and supply. Okay. Uh, okay. Like here, for example, another example of demand and supply. This is called supply zone. You can call supply zone here. Okay, when you see the candle in a higher time frame, which is the close like that, you should this is called supply zone. Okay. And another one is somewhere here. My price almost touches, but haven't yet. Like here, they haven't come. Then over here is like resist uh support level. Yeah, here is support level in head four. Oh, all right, somewhere here. I will see if you were to use Fibonacci. I think I will put like swing high, swing low should be thirty eight percent somewhere here 30 percent okay you either you can use fibonacci as well here i will try another example for you to okay if you trade demand and supply you need to see the big either bearish or bullish candle okay mm. another one And this one also, for example, like here, price big touches. You see, you remember I say when the price, if there is no major news, and this is a major news definitely, price came down, okay, and then reward up, and after that try to like go up and then 
eventually is still on bearish. Usually EMA 200 is stronger than EMA 100. So when price is come to here, EMA 200, right? And then no, boom. Price is bouncing off from here and cannot stand or cannot go above EMA 100 here, which is actually is a resistance level in head four. Right here. Let's say you buy from here and then you can sell from here as well. Okay. You can um you can go back and you practice. I will you can wait here. Okay. Um I will try another strategy. I mean another entry. Let's say here. Um Okay, actually, this is another like supply zone here, a uh, demand zone. Okay, like here. This is demand zone here. You can that price come to the zone here, this one, and then go up, bounce off from here, which is like, you know, they come until 199, 1955 to 1964, almost 100 pips. Which is if you buy from here, your TP could be here, which is a resistant level, right? Here, your TP. Okay, another example. And um, let me look for the sale opportunity. If you want to trade only on demand and supply, okay. Uh, okay, here not every demand and supply work. For example, here, okay. For example, here, oh, actually this is a work. Demand and supply, you need to trade when it's fresh one, okay? This is a fresh one. What you can see over here, price it touch the zone, and then it's reward up. So usually, we only trade demand and supply zone when it's fresh, which is when the price come in the first time, and then you put the buy or sell entry. In this case, demand zone, we put buy entry here and then boom, price is from here, um, 1997 until the highest one is here, 2006. That's a lot, okay? That's the example. Um, This is another example as well here. First time fresh. I zoom in for you to see. Okay, here, this is the one. This is the one here. Okay, what you can see here. And then if you can, if you know how to use Fibonacci, okay, you can draw your left to the right. And what you can see somewhere here, they do have 38.2% FIB. Yeah. Like here, okay, somewhere here. This is another example, okay. What you can see here, when when come in the first time here, um, let's just say one nine seventy, all the way up here is one nine seventy seven, so seventy pip, okay, at least seventy pip here. You already clone in profit, which is we already know that this is your the resistance level is here. Okay, you buy here and then this is um the TP. You cannot hold until it like go all the way up unless um because here we don't know what's going to happen, right? For example, here. This going go. What we need can know that okay, price is on up 10 because because they are on I mean they are above EMA 100 and 200. What you can see here, one is cross each other. And then, you know, they're like going a pass like that. You know that it's really strong uptrend, okay? And then now, price is make a lower, lower, lower high over here. And then we say that, okay, we don't know whether price is going to break below uh, EMA 100 or 200 or not because we don't know what is going to happen in the future. Future, That's like you buy from here, you just kill your profit here, 70 pip. Okay, then you get out of the trade. 
Okay. That's all. All right. Is this capable cropping on either M? Okay. You this one usually I will do in M five. Okay. If M fifteen, this is gonna be my leisure zone, for example. Okay. Um I would try to get the example like uh okay, let's I just mark here first. Okay, this is M A hundred and one hundred and M M five. Okay, and this is a M fifteen. Mm, no, this is not a good example. There will be some time, some time that price is not respect like EMA hundred and uh hundred and two hundred in M five. I need to have another um spare lot, you know, to 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 place the order um when the price is go up or go down until EMA fifteen. But in that case, meaning that uh, if the price is come halfway and then my all position, and not all position, I mean the balance is like blue or maybe I cut lot. Okay, just in case um, price is not go to my direction. Uh, let me see. In this case, it's still respect. Um, I don't know where I can find that example, but usually... Just give me one minute. I try uh, to show you guys. Mm, maybe, maybe, maybe I start from here. Okay, let's just look at here first. Mm, but this one is really less back, or maybe a little bit more. Mm. Okay. Okay, now let me mark the zone. Let me mark first, okay? Okay, this is my 15 in a And then two hundred around this one, or maybe I just put the zone here, for example. Okay, I go to M fifteen or M five. Okay. In this case, uh, okay. First, first, first thing first. Okay, now our strategy is that if price break below, okay. Break below either um EMA hundred and two hundred here. You wait for price to pull back, then you sell right. Okay, if you ask me for the TP, you can use EMA um uh, fifteen, M fifteen for your TP. So basically, if you sell from like around this zone right here, and your TP is could be here, either could be here or could be here. Now. You still hold or you close all position with say one nine eighty six to one nine seventy nine. Let's just say, uh, sixty pip is you already TP. Okay, you already close all the profit, and if you want to re-enter again, okay, you wait for price to pull back here and then you sell. I still try to find um, okay, you see we already okay. I stop here. We can enter here, and then you can see that the EMA is curving down from here, meaning the price is still on downtrend. Okay, here you can see that, right? And this is my EMA um fifteen. What you can see here, meaning that on um the lower time frame, if price on downtrend, they cannot go above EMA. Um, hundred and two hundred in M five, right? Yeah, I delete first. Okay, here and then you can see that they already from here 
from what you can see, they're uh, apart from each other. And after that, they're going to cross here and you can hold your position. For example, you enter here. Just now you enter here, right? Maybe you enter here and then your TP, you close some um, order. I mean, some order and then you remain here, maybe one to two and then you still can hold. I think price still on downtrend. Still can going down more. In this case, this is, okay. This is mean that, meaning that you just hold your sale position, okay, in this case. I will, I'm trying to show you like when I need to like layer when price is not go to my direction, but I don't have the example here, but I can show here, let's say, um, let me try to find the example. Okay, maybe I answer like, in this strategy, I'm using M5, M15 for you to, um, uh, how to say, for you to layer, you get my in for example, for example, you are, we are going to, uh, let me try, try, try to find. Um, let's say, let's say. I think I add one more, which is, no, cannot. Uh, let me see, let me find, just give me a set. Um, what is this? Okay, this is, no, okay, for example, um, 15. Okay, example here. You we know that this is like okay when you enter here, maybe I think I may find the example. Let's just say here, up to here, up to here. Okay, like you know, when the price come here, like this zone, right? Uh I think I might to cut a bit more. Okay, I think I find a good example for you to see. Here, for example, here. Okay, our strategy is that price come to like this zone, for example, right? They don't, it doesn't have to be like, you know, exact at like EMA 100 or 200, okay? It might go above a little bit, some, it's not even rich um, uh, EMA 100, which is green color. But in this case, you mark that, okay, this is your EMA, in M5, and then you mark that, okay, the EMA15 is somewhere around here. Hey, this is not a good example. Uh, let me see, let me see. Let me see what's going on here, okay? We sell, okay, for example, we sell here. And then um, I just put, we sell. We say on then price is still going up, up to here. You might need to switch to M15. M15 is here. But to say usually, let me look for the, um, no, this is not a good example. There will be, um, Okay, let me, let me, let me. 
Okay, maybe here. Fifteen. Okay, for example, ah, this is a good example. Okay, for example, here our strategy is right when the price is go up first time, usually you will get and then boom, and after that, you keep playing at M5. Price the word you get another entry and then you know in this case they only go up like from one nine sixty four go up to one nine sixty six point five is about twenty two twenty five pip and after that price it came again and then it just go up a bit and then you buy but then you expected that price will go up correct because we playing M five right here uh but this is our zone to to play the order. Okay, in this case, you're gonna buy here, buy here, and then you see that oh no, price is going to break. Um, EMA hundred and two hundred, right? In this case, and then you're going to you think our strategy is that you need to sell, right? But in this case, you know that are uh, you, maybe you look for the higher time frame first. Okay. Maybe in this case, I think it's going to like bullish. Then you go to M15. Okay, you go to M15. And then you know that M15, this is EMA 100 and 200 here. Meaning that when you enter here, okay, you need to go to the lower time frame, which is you, ha you have to place the order somewhere here. Another, another... A few lot here because you know they act at the um support level in this case okay and you go to um m15 again what you can see here when pride you know come to or um react with ema15 which is in this uh box here and then after that pride is reward in this case one pride is reward up to here usually you need to exit all the position you get what i mean because in our strategies when price break below ema 100 and 200 in uh, m5 we're going to wait for price to pull back and then we're going to sell right but in this case we have the buy position here and then you you know that oh no maybe there might be something wrong and then you look at EMA 15 and then you know that okay these are EMA 100 and 200 in M15 and then you place the buy order here for example the first order you put uh, 0, 0 0.01 for example okay and then you put like 0 0.01 and then you put 0. So one, you can trade, uh, test this strategy with smaller loss size. Okay, this is in, in M1, oh sorry, in M5, for example. Okay, you press the first order here. Okay, one price come now, you need to have double loss size, which, which is Martingale. We already know Martingale, right? The Martingale one, you can put, 0 0.02 0 0.02 just cover the first like here right one price come like maybe halfway here all the position already brew all the balance brew then you just exit all the position even though your third entry is still red but the overall it's already, it's already brew you just close all the position okay because the strategy is that we wait for price to pull back here, we're going to sell. Okay, but in this case, we don't know what is going to happen. Let me see. Okay, and then boom, price is go up there. Okay. Like all the way there. If we know the, I know, because we don't know the future, right? So um, this, you know, now uh, we already see that 
um the price go all the way up it just said you know i just tell you when the price you know come down all the way here either let's just say the beginning of the day like you want to buy it buy either price come here if you have a confident you can just hold the trade or if the price go up here you can just either close the like the first order here and then you hold the the below one it's either one okay this is a good example for like one price is you know um kiss your ema 101 100 and 200 in m5 but then they go all the way to m15 and then you can layer which is we can call either like layer in zone okay any questions guys so far any question you get the idea first okay first you just look at daily time frame first for example for example here if like that here a laser cell here for example i show you for example like um daily time frame first here if price come up like that you know that price is come from the support level and it's ending with the big bullish candle okay and then you can go to h4 okay big bullish candle and you can see that these are like uh sideway right so today we're going to buy as buy we're gonna buy for the whole day okay then you can go to h1 okay h1 what you can see uh, in h1 now they're going to they already break above EMA 100, which is a green color here, right? So now we go to look at M5. What you can see here, M5, if price on uptrend, they have to go above EMA 100 and 200 in M5, which is in this case, where is my, oh, EMA 200. Okay, what you can see here, right? Go put, sometimes not have to be exact here, and then you get already TP. One nine, oh, sorry, one eight two two two, one eight three five. That's quite a lot, more than 100 pip, right? Okay, and then you buy, and then we already hold because we know that today we're going to buy at buy or long okay and after that price is came back again here and then you have another buy order here okay the buy position here okay and then you hold okay what you can see here oh don't boom it's oh then i think there's a news here then all the way up okay this is how we trade or how i trade okay any questions so far, guys? What you can see that once usually they are sideways, right? They are sideways in the lower time frame, right? That one is, you know, they decided to go to upside. You can see that it's close each other. And then in between EMA 100 and 200, you know, go apart each other, you know that this is a really strong uptrend. Before strong uptrend in the lower term frame, you can see that price or EMA is like crossing each other like this. Meaning they're crossing like that, right? right? And in H4, it's a sideways. Yeah, it's sideways. Actually, it's sideways here. It's here, okay? After that, they, they decided to bullish like because we say that we're going to buy in this case up to here uh let me let me see here i will show you here you we know that this is first we're going to sell here at the ema 100 
and another one is at EMA um two hundred, which is somewhere here. Is the resistance level somewhere here? Let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I go to the. Okay. Okay, from here, when price come around this, right, I'm ready to sell because this is the resistance level and I will have the spare lot somewhere here if price come to this zone, which is what you can see here. I will get the order from here from 1865 and then price come all the way to 1855 in the head four, already 100 pip from here, okay? Like I say, um, if um higher time frame, you don't need to wait for confirmation. You just place the sale order. Okay, over here. Let's just go to um M fifteen or M five. Sorry, M five here. Okay. Do you think that you can sell here? Okay, we sell, right? And M15, oh, sorry, M5. We also have the, going to place the sale order here as well. Okay. Like just now, I think we enter somewhere here, right? And then price is break, pull back, and then you sell. Okay, you see? And then now we can see that it's going to like sideways or on downtrend here. Okay. Usually, you sell from here one egg na one egg fifty nine to one egg fifty five is forty pip. Okay. In the low in um M five it look like this. In M sorry in H four. Is at the resistance and somewhere near to EMA 100 in H4. Okay, any question so far, guys? You have any question? You can ask me. Okay, if there is no question, I'm going to end the session for today. Any question so far, guys? You can try these strategies, okay? Okay, I'm going to launch. Can you help me vote? This webinar, I appreciate that. You can just try this strategy. I use this strategy to trade if I have time. Okay, if I'm on my computer, I will um, use um, EMA 100 and 200 to trade. If I don't have, I will just go to H4. Let's like say uh, in M5, okay, if you are using uh, EMA 100 and 200 in M5, they are um, respect very nicely if, uh, if they on like, you know, if they in a trend, for example, if on downtrend or um, uptrend, usually they will respect EMA 100, 100 and 200 in M5. Um okay, I think I'm I use this on go, but I use EMA hundred and two hundred for the like other pair for the higher time frame just to help me see like support and resistance. For example, you guys still can see my chart right over here. Can you still see? Okay. Usually I just use EMA um two hundred just to help me to identify the trend. Can you guys see my chart here? Yes or no? I'm not sure. Okay. Um, I don't think that will be recorded. Okay, okay. Over here, you can use EMA 100 and 200, which is over here. What you can see here, right? I say um, EMA 200 or 100, they act as support and resistance. In this case, you know that this your um resistance level, right? So one is calm, 
And then you know that this is your um, EMA 200 price, even though they need to go above, but eventually they still respect the resistance and they're still coming down and go back and pull again and then still on downtrend. And let's say if you use an EMA um, 200, I use for the currency pair just to help me identify the trend. For example, I know that one price is crossed here, and then it break below, it's still on downtrend. So I hold, you can hold the trade until price is reversed here, and then you can exit the trade. Like you sell, pull here, you can just exit your trade already because they might be changing to the upside, which is eventually they're going to upside here. And then upside already, before that, they're sideways somewhere here, right? Then after that, eventually they are clawed each other over here. And then boom, they'll go all the way up. Okay, guys. Uh, I don't know how to use it, but just check it. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time today. Okay, I will catch up with you again next webinar. Just try this strategy and you can try with smaller loss size, which is 0 0.01 and see if it works for you because this is good for those people who have time. Okay, uh, like I used it, you know, I used to scalp go whole day, really whole day, it, but it really tiring because you need to in and out very often. So I get in, get out, I get in, get out. Okay, if you ask for my, if you ask for like list and reward, of course, it's not great. But if you want to collect a few pip, if you're not over trade, okay, because sometimes price, it might go above a little bit, you might have you might need to have the spare loss side to lay you in zone, okay? And then, you know, you can collect some money from this strategy. Okay, guys, thank you so much for your time, guys. Have a good day, all right? Thank you, guys. Bye, take care.